there's not a day that goes by where you don't need to hear. So for me, it was a situation where if I could help somebody get back an item that they've lost, and in this case hearing, it was something that I could remain passionate about. We can make sounds louder, that's not a problem. But when there's damage to the auditory nerve and we end up having to counsel them about realistic expectations, a lot of times it's the counseling that sets us apart as professionals in order to help the patient understand whenever we're going to make things better, they're still not going to be perfect. Basically everything I learned for counseling came from Pitt. It came from courses in counseling as well as working with tremendous clinical instructors that provided good examples as well as good feedback on how I can become a better counselor to reach the patients and be much more effective in the care that I'm providing. So whenever I walk into work every day, I know that no matter what happens, I'm going to have the opportunity to help somebody's life improve every single day at work. When you hear from veterans thanking you, it, um, it really sinks in that what you're doing is having a huge impact in their life. The biggest one is whenever we see our patients who are typically male and they bring their family, their wives or children to come in and you either get a good handshake or a big hug from a family member just thanking you for you know, allowing their family member to be a part of conversation again, to have a more active role in the family dynamic, whereas in the past they may have been more withdrawn. So whether it's testing difficult patients, counseling family members, I was able to gain something at every individual clinic placement, even if it didn't relate directly to what I wanted to do in the future. When I was an undergrad student at Pitt and early on during my graduate work here, I always looked at research as a bad word because I thought, I want to be a clinician. Research does not appeal to me one bit. But in my head, research meant being in a lab at all hours of the night conducting experiments that would have no real world validity. However, that's not the case at all. And Pitt really taught me how to research items that can be shared with the field that will help patients, that will help audiologists provide better care. I would say you need to be willing to work hard, you need to be willing to challenge yourself, you need to be ready to go through some of the most rigorous academic challenges of your life. But at the end of the day, if being an audiologist is what you want to do, there's no better place to prepare you. Coming to Pitt was the best decision I've ever made. I had opportunities to go to other graduate programs for free, but I chose to pay my own way at Pitt simply because I knew that the education that I would receive here would be higher than almost anywhere else and I wouldn't have the same experiences that I would get here. And I do not regret that decision at all. I've never regret it one day in life and I doubt that I ever will.